If you're a resident of the lower north shore, you may have noticed an urban trend of data centers popping up in your backyard. In fact, some of you may have even noticed the installations of them previously. With the rise of AI, companies on the forefront are building data centers to keep up with rapidly growing user demands. But just how prepared are we to meet these demands? Despite their unassuming look, data centers use large volumes of resources and need to run 24-7. Lane Cove West residents have already for months been impacted by air trunk data centers construction as they expand their water supply. Reuters recently reported that since 2021, the New South Wales government authorized 10 data centers that could collectively use up 2% of Sydney's water supply a year, with projections only increasing. Goodman's planned data center will use over 1,400 kiloliters of water per day on average. The company said it won't release enough wastewater to strain wastewater systems. However, this is just one center. Air Trunks 2019 reports did not provide any information on the volume of water needed to run their data center, but it is looking to expand its operations further. The combined facility would have over 300,000 kilos of lithium batteries. This would also mean 150 more diesel engines on top of the 121 currently on site. Chemicals emitted from burning diesel are not only linked to higher carbon emissions, but also lung disease. The Mars Road facility has not disclosed how many engines it has on site, but it is close to businesses, residents, and the Lane Cove West Public School. The Department of Education says if there are any health and safety impacts, they will be unable to raise them until the data center's draft plans are on public exhibition. There's also the issue of noise pollution, the opinions of local councils being ignored, and the state government possibly jumping the gun on decision making for these infrastructures. This is just some background. Next month, ITC will be posting a three-part investigation on the effects these data centers will have on yourself and the community.